Alright, here we go with part 2 of 2 of uh, dual booting Windows operating systems, or even Ubuntu if you want to put that in here. Now up to this point we should have Windows Vista and Windows XP installed, but maybe only one of them is booting correctly. And this should be Windows Vista after you restored the bootloader by booting into the Windows Vista setup DVD. Clicking install now, repair your computer, and fix boot issues. So now we need to open the software that we just downloaded a few minutes ago and install and well set up the bootloader so it recognizes that there's two operating systems installed and then it needs to give you the choice of which one do you want to boot into and use. So double click the shortcut on your desktop. There we go and then on the left go over to add or remove entries. It's the third one down. Now you see in here is Windows Vista. Well, yeah, that's what you're in. Don't delete that. Down at the bottom you'll see Windows, Linux, Mac, and NeoGrub. And then some little yellow box. I have no idea what that is. So, go to Windows, and if this is Windows XP, and select Windows NT slash 2K slash XP slash 2K3. So, and you can rename it Windows XP if you want to. Well, actually, I'm sorry, before you select that, you need to, I messed up here. Open, I'm sorry, open the software, add remove entries, select the drive letter, it's on first. Well, I put my Windows XP on drive E. You can see that. So first thing you do, I'm gonna select drive E. Call it Windows XP, and then tell it that it is Windows XP and then add entry. Now obviously I don't have, I have not actually installed the operating system on there so I'm gonna get this error. You won't. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to install Windows XP but you already have on the second partition or Windows 2000 or Ubuntu or whatever you've installed. So you will not get that error but I'm just going to click OK. Now anyways it still added it up there. So now this is the screen you should have after you see your BIOS of HP or Dell or Acer or eMachine or whatever kind of computer you have or built yourself, you'll have these two options, Microsoft Windows Vista and Microsoft Windows XP. You can move XP to the, to the top, move it down to the bottom, delete Windows XP, whatever you want to do with your bootloader. Now you're not done. Don't click close and have it go away. You need to click save. I'm not actually going to do that because I don't want a faulty bootloader. So then you click save and then I believe you get a message saying, are you sure you want to save? Well, yes, that's why I clicked it, so click OK. And then that should work. If you have any questions, please contact me, please comment, and subscribe if you like what I'm showing you how to do here. So thanks for watching and I hope this helps you help dual boot with Windows, all versions of Windows, Linux. You can put, I mean, C and boot in there. I, I'm, not, I'm not a Linux guy, I don't know. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will be making more videos soon. So, see you later.